Intermediate Financial Accounting 2, Post-Employment Benefits. Topic 1, Types of Pension Plans. There are two main types of pension plans that we'll be looking at. The first, defined contribution, where the employer makes set cash contributions each year and the benefits paid out depend on how well the plan's investments do. The second is defined benefit, where the employer agrees to pay set benefits to the employee, and so the employer must fund the plan appropriately to achieve this. Defined benefit plans have fixed benefits paid and variable contributions, whereas defined contribution plans have fixed contributions and variable benefits. Some lingo. Contributory. This means the employees make contributions as well as the employer. If only the employer contributes, this is referred to as non-contributory. Vesting. Similar to stock options, benefits are vested if the employee has met all the requirements to receive their pension. That is, they stayed with the company for long enough, turn 55, things like that. Trustee. An independent third party appointed to manage the assets of the pension plan. Actuarial gains and losses. The pension obligation to employees is revalued regularly by actuaries and changes in assumptions will result in either a gain or a loss. Some examples of assumptions that are, are changed could include the mortality rate of the participants within the fund. A question. Using your intuition, about the different types of funds, what do you think which plan is most common today? Is it A, defined benefit, B, defined contribution, or C, they are equally as common? The answer is B, defined contribution. This is most common today because defined benefit plans place more risks on employers because if the pension investments don't do as well, they need to make up the shortfall. Defined contribution plans are more common as they are less risky for the employers. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.